And I remember the first song I ever sung in front of people was Best To Be Your Name. And um, as I began to play through the chords, just I was shaking. I, was like, I didn't really know what was going to come out. And as I began to sing, a voice came out that I'd never heard before. Um, it was not my own voice. It was something that was 100% from God. We're a team of a band and we've got a whole bunch of, of other guys who do other things that make up the ministry of Arise. Well, I mean, there's some kind of similarities in a sense um, that I guess every band has to do in terms of just kind of marketing yourselves, making sure you're out there and available. It's hard because there's always that line that you're going to be flirting with because, you know, you want to make sure that you're as good as possible. Um, but the reason why we, we want to be as good as possible is not so that we would bring any interest onto ourselves, but that especially when we go into environments um, where people are going to be worshipping and they're not feeling necessarily comfortable with that, you want to give them some kind of common ground. Every time you know that we either writing for an album or writing songs and that, I really feel that God kind of just impresses on us a very really strong theme. Well, our EP that we just released, um, it's called Jesus Is, and so the whole kind of point behind this was that we would point people to just the, the unexplainable, the, the awesomeness of, of who Jesus is. The whole reason why I started off the ministry was because I wanted to become something that was bigger than myself. In that challenge, like God really gave me the vision and the passion to start up a team that would be mobilized, that would go beyond my years. You know? And so um, from that, we, we figured that the best way to do this would be to train young people. Our very first year, we had three guys who were originally in my youth group. They were um, guys that I'd been mentoring, and so they came in and we started exploring and I started teaching the guys on worship and the heart of worship and from that it's kind of grown and it's always been like a, a strong desire of ours to train the next generation um, and kind of over the years it's grown and, it's, and um, it's developed into a place now where we just launched Arise College which is a worship and creative arts college. I find it easy to lead people by inspiring them with the vision and that and so I find it really important because especially for young people I mean you know they're not so focused yet on on the technicalities of life yet they want to they want to feel and see a vision and they want to they want to run passionately for that where we see that the church could capitalize more on is really just the embracing and and really just lifting up the young people who, who are passionate. Because it's that passion that will allow young people to start up a ministry that no one had ever heard of before.